World. You know who it is, your boy Cam 11 11. The YouTube's Rick of the Year, and I'm back with an absolute banger. Another one, Sean Fantasy Hip Hop. The 10 most controversial rap albums ever. And I gotta tell y'all, I think Jay Z 444 on this list, and I think Lil Wayne Carter 3 on this list. Let's get it, let's go. No intro needed. Happy Thursday. Let's go. Who, who else do y'all think on this list before we get into it? Let's do it. 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 Let's do it.
We hear theories that Tupac is in Cuba and that he never actually passed away, and a lot of these ideas all stemmed from the lyrics and messaging on this record that people tried to slam together to mean something, and putting the cherry on top of this theory. People also began to accuse Tupac of having affiliation with the Illuminati because of the album's full name, The Don Illuminati, The Seven Day Theory. Mm. Now, while some people thought that they figured out that Tupac faked his own death, tried to make himself out to be Jesus, and was in mm. the Illuminati all along with this album, since Tupac completed this record and was waiting know. to release it before his this passing, this is a heavy, heavy, he heavy topic about right here, y'all. Before his passing, and spoke about its meaning, saying this: "People is telling me about this Illuminati while I'm in jail. That's another way to keep your self-esteem low. That's another way to keep you unconfident." I'm putting the K in front because I'm killing that Illuminati. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is with very, this very, people, very, very see heavy. How with conspiracy theories and controversies, Damn. people love to look at half of what they see and formulate their own ideas. Yeah, that's, this is very heavy. I definitely didn't expect it to get this, get this heavy. Started, I ain't going to lie. All these same theories that for some reason people still believe to this day. Regardless of everything that was deemed provocative on this record being wow. misunderstood or proven to be untrue at this point, do y'all think the Tupac did a lot? Theory still remains as one of the most controversial rap albums. I never of heard of that. For the absolute storm of reactions and theories that are still affecting the way people think about Pac to this day. Now coming Talk in to me. Okay, okay. Let's get off the heavy stuff. Let's another go. Another album that's controversy originated from a religious scare, but this time in a much stranger way with Ooh. Lil Nas X's debut oh, record Montero. No. Now when it comes to Lil Nas X. While he doesn't fit oh, the mold of a no. traditional rapper, this has always been by his design because for most of his career, he has carefully planned out oh, controversial God. stunts to find success in an era where things. Y'all, y'all let me know how y'all how y'all feel about the Lil Nas X trajectory, like from the devil worshiping to the devil promoting, the religion slandering. The what? Why do y'all feel about this? And I haven't heard any song from the Montero outside of what is this big song, the Old Town Road? Is that even the same album? I don't even know. Like, only thing, like, that's just insane to me. But we can keep going though. As humanly wow. possible to ever get attention. So when releasing his debut album, Montero, Hell Lil Nas no. X carefully planned out every phase of the project's rollout to feature one controversial stunt after another. Now, the album's self-titled track, Montero, created more than enough controversy when Lil Nas X portrayed himself giving a lap dance to the devil. And if you think insanity. this wasn't enough, he also sold shoes with satanic imagery and even a drop of blood in them. And from here, Nas X received backlash that would change yeah. his career oh, yeah. from politicians, rappers, major As he should have. and even churches. As it should have. So much scrutiny that it was almost pulled off streaming services. And despite this, as the rollout continued, Lil Nas X only doubled down on the controversy as he continued to market the record in a nature that would continue to aggravate mass audiences. Whether it was the music video for the Kanye West produced industry baby or X getting pregnant and then giving birth to the album on the day it was released yes. or even nah, the bro. cover of the record nah. itself. Because of the provocative nature in everything that Lil Nas X did, after all this, Montero was being accused of trying to corrupt the minds of his considerably young and impressionable Absolutely. fan base that he had amassed from blowing up on platforms like TikTok with Old Town Road before all this. Now, while people accuse Lil Nas mm -hmm. X of trying to push agendas and corrupt minds... And see, I'm holding back, y'all. That's I'm not saying nothing. That I'm holding back. Who struggled with his sexual you know why. For his if you know, you know. Life. All he was trying to do is make people in similar situations feel more comfortable with themselves. Negative. So overall, when we look at Montero, this is a record that firsthand displays how artistic intention and public perception can end up clashing no. with one another. Look at the imagery, though, y'all. It's secured a spot on this list. Now, no, number nine and eight. Get him out of here. That pushes obscenity to the max with experimental hip hop trio Death Grips and their project No Love Deep Web. And while Death Grips has always been wow. known for being one of the most out there sounding, I've never heard of this ever either. Exist, with this record, it's controversial not because it sounds or says anything more insane than the group usually does, but purely well, let's be for real here, though, y'all. Yeah, do these last three albums? I don't know any of them, right? Do y'all even recommend? Y'all let me know. Do y'all even recommend these albums to listen to? Like, is the Seven Day good? Is that Montero, Lil Nas X even good album? Are these? What about the music? Not the antics, not the imagery. Is the music even good, y'all? Honestly. Which is literally illegal for some people. I don't even know. And if you look at the artwork, I think you can see why. 
This is an album that you never want to get caught listening to on your phone because this is really just one of the most insane and out there covers that you could ever draw up to represent an album. If mm. you could even find No Love Deep Web in a store, it is sold with a black cover that blocks the entire artwork from being seen and it is only revealed after you peel it off. So whatever you do, do not rip this covering off in a record store because a lot wow. of places can lose their vendor's license for even displaying the graphic image that group member Zach Hill decided to take while he was in the shower. So overall, what? while some of these albums have long and extensive controversial pasts, I don't think I have to explain this one anymore. Yeah, we're moving on. Here. Now, coming in at number six, we got Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign's collab album, Vultures 1. Vultures 1? record outside of some odd lyrics from Kanye is pretty wait, controversial. Wait, wait, wait. Is Vultures 1 really controversial, y'all? I got that on my phone. Like, is V1 really controversial outside of the sentiment, anti sin anti-cinematic i can't even say it right free what's made the sheer existence of this record so I problematic was, is all the see. personal drama that kanye created prior to the records release. definitely did now we all remember the absolute disaster of interviews and yes, statements sir. that kanye made at the end of 2022 and after his network shrunk by billions and he seemed to go into hiding for most of 2023 Ye returned in full force in 2024 with an entire new album, and the response couldn't have been crazy. From mm -hmm. renowned artists standing by Kanye and supporting him, to others who called Ye out and cut off any affiliation and full crazy. support that they had for him because any of what independent. he said in the past. Vultures has created an absolute storm on the internet as people have debated if it's okay to enjoy an artist's music despite their personal actions. Now, as anybody who's uh, been on the internet knows since this album has dropped, Vultures how do y'all feel about that though? Do, 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 do y'all give Ye a pass for a lot of the shit he say, a lot of the stuff he do? Do y'all give him a pass or do y'all just kind of stick with him because we know he's, you know, we deal with a lot of mental. Well, we we know he deal with a lot of mental and physical health issues. Right. So, do is that why we give him a pass? Let's be, that's just something to think about. Polarizing releases in hip hop recently, and I something think, think as about. time goes on, this record will be at the center of the debate regarding separating music people enjoy from the creators and their own actions. And I get an album of six point five. I thought list. it was a good album. Now, crack at the think? top five. We are now looking at albums that redefine just how crazy music controversies can yes, be. Yes, sir. And in this Talk to spot, me. We got Public Enemy's 1990 album. Fear of a Black Planet, mm. and from the socially conscious themes that sent shockwaves to the entire world to some of the personal ideology of a certain group member that ended up damaging the entire group's image. This album was a landmark release in not just yep, hip hop, yep. but in culture for so many reasons. Tracks off this album like 911 is a joke, Burn a Hollywood Burn, and a of joke? course Fight the Power, shocked the rap world and beyond as during a time where hip hop was starting to become more commercial and mindless, Public Enemy redefined just how strong of a tool rap Now, do y'all agree with these takes, y'all? I don't really know too, 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 too much about Public Enemy number one. Against injustice. It also received scrutiny from the media and the public for expressing distrust and resentment towards law enforcement and government officials. Mm. Now, while these sentiments alone framed Public Enemy as a red supporter in the mainstream media, this album became all the more controversial when group member Professor Griff, to sum it up shortly, went down the same Griff. path we saw Kanye follow in 2022. And this created even more problems for Public Enemy as Griff's views began to contort the image of the album from being wow. seen as music that wasn't just trying to express the need for the world to change for the better. But it was now being seen as music that wanted the entire world to burn. While Public Enemy ultimately kicked wow. out Professor Griff as his problematic views did not align with the overarching messaging of the group or the album. Between the album's themes that challenged so much of what was accepted in music and the bad press surrounding it, Fear How of Black about that? it became one of the most controversial records ever. So it's four this albums race, on here that I'm not really so too, too familiar with. It also ended up becoming one of the most important rap and albums this is one of them. time. Now, crack in the Mount Rushmore of controversy. Let's go. Albums. Talk to me. We got Eminem's Slim Shady LP. And Woo. then number three, we got the Marshall Mathers LP. Damn. And I'm going to talk about these two records at the same time because all of wow. the controversy that they created. Really but let's talk about it. Are these classic albums, y'all? Are these classic albums? Let me know. Exactly. Eminem fans, stand so up. So when it comes to Eminem. We all know that he is a one-of-a-kind force in the rap world, and this yes, was never is. more true than when he first made it onto the scene. 
from being a white guy with bleached hair to having some of the most insane lyrics that rap has ever seen till this very day. Yeah. With everything that Eminem did, he was so different than everything else that rap had to offer that is true. his first and second major label albums. Because of this, he sparked up more controversy than I didn't expect him to be this. I didn't expect him to be on there. I didn't even think about it. I ain't gonna lie. The Goblin was only number 10 on this list was because despite how crazy that album was, Eminem made an even crazier record in the Definitely same day with the Slim Shady LP, which Definitely did about did. every provocative thing in the book. And when we look at the most controversial albums of all time, both the Slim Shady and Marshall Mathers LPs were like the Thanos of them all, taking every known aspect that made music controversial as a whole and put them all into the But I think people will call these classic albums, culture though. Changing now, when we look at the Slim Shady LP, and I think he's probably the best two albums on here. Everywhere, as the dark lyrics mixed with his twisted sense of humor, frightened people just as much as it entertained others. From promoting violence to literally at making a song where he dumps his girlfriend in the ocean. The yeah. Slim Shady LP that's made very dark. headlines for its problematic lyrics. But that's one of my favorite M's on. If that's probably my favorite M's on. Point, while there for sure. were controversial artists before him, there really wasn't anybody since Elvis that media outlets and lawmakers were more worried about when it came to corrupting the minds of the youth. Now, while the Slim Shady LP's horrifying sense of humor sent fear waves into the world, Eminem's follow-up, which dropped not even a full year after the Marshall Mathers LP, made things even crazier as M didn't just double down on the controversy, mm -hmm. but he clapped back and called out the hypocrisy of his haters and society, all while going in a much more personal wow. and dark direction. From rapping about how his music can't be blamed for violence and problems in the U.S. any more than violent films, abusive parents, and problematic laws, yeah, to tracks yeah. that depicted the themes that made the Slim Shady LP such a target of but did y'all even know and even did y'all even know that the, the government if you look they have a department for film cinematic film go look that up more insane and disturbing shit is a Marshall joke Mathers it's a myth y'all set the entire the world on fire as it challenged everything that pop culture and in the greater sense society stood for at the time now with two albums filled with some of the most insane lyrics ever written by a human being Eminem wasn't just making parents and the media afraid of him but entire nations Submit. like Canada wanted Eminem to be banned from their country as well. Wow. Now, what's so interesting about these albums is that despite all the controversy and backlash, while some artists' careers on this list were hurt by all the negativity they faced, Eminem was able to reach new levels of success. And I really think that these records specifically show how good that's why I'm like, if people call that classic album. And worried parents can end up rallying more fans behind you and end up actually benefiting your career in the long run better than anything else has. So, overall, while the Slim Shady and Marshall Mathers LP brought artistic obscenity to a level that the world never saw before. Overall, all of the controversy these albums face only helped them stand even yeah, that's what I was thinking. They, the people count those as classics. Now coming in as the Who's second number two? most controversial album of all time, we got As Nasty As They Wanna Be by Two Live Crew. And two Live Crew. the other albums on this list have had some pretty crazy effects on the rap world. None have changed not just the genre, but free speech as a whole more than this. What they say? Just the album cover, you can tell that audiences in 1989 were not ready Ready for the nature of this record and this didn't just result in some media frenzy but it actually ended up getting multiple people including group members arrested this Damn. entire album's themes and subject matter followed in the lead singles nature and because of this and all of the success that the record was seeing both with sales and radio play in the group's home state of florida the album wow. raised a lot of concerns around its subject matter and specifically this caused attorney jack thompson to work with the florida government to see if the album's obscene themes were actually considered illegal to sell or perform and after really florida determined that it was that's Other insane also deemed this album to be illegal and from here everything got absolutely insane for the two live crew just to put into perspective how problematic this album yeah, was, let me hear a record store owner ended up getting arrested for selling a copy of the album to an undercover cop, and eventually group members were also arrested for performing songs from the project as well. Now, what were they saying the musically, though? What are they saying? Jury eventually. The fact that they were in trouble with the law for making an album that was glorifying the type of relations that they wanted to have with women in a way that was always run-of-the-mill in genres like rock and is casual in rap today is just insane to look back on this album ended up being so chaotic that it actually created the parental advisory sticker as wow. well which would debut on the group's second album i did not know that title of band in 
the USA. Wow. So overall, with that as nasty as they want to be and what two live crew had to go through, who knows what hip hop would look like today? This group of guys who thought with their pants completely changed what free speech and rap oh, that's music dope. and in modern media I didn't know that right there. Like. They created reason, the parental really advisory. Can't thank them enough. And coming in at number one. As the most controversial Ooh. rap album of all time, we got straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Bang. That's a Every classic album. album on this list Banger. Has caused outcry of some sort. None of the controversy they caused was That's more dope. important than what Ice Cube Probably my favorite and Dr. Dre and the Easy. rest of the crew caused on their legendary 1988 album. Now, when it comes to the significance of Straight Outta Compton, when we look at all of the backlash and actually bands that this album got from receiving proper promotion and radio play, yep. this LP showed the world a new side of not just music, but reality as a whole. Songs like Straight Outta Compton and F the Police opened up people's eyes to what was yep. going on so outside did. their own reality. And while the intense way this was conveyed made the media paint NWA as threats who were attacking the world and its established institutions, as time has gone on, everything this album did has only proved to be more important with each passing year. I agree. One thousand percent. This list fought for obscenity and shock value. Straight out of Compton fought for the power and truthfulness 100%. of art as they created a body of work that addressed not just the realities the group members faced yeah, in their easy. hometown of Compton, that's my favorite but also album they could express easy. their truths with the force and intensity that easy. such pressing issues needed to be addressed with and to get this across they had to work through obstacles that would have destroyed most other artists careers now on top of receiving no promotional support from the music industry the fbi ended up threatening nwa and giving them an entire warning letter after the Insane. album was released and following this many police officers refused to work their shows which led to them being unable to play just about anywhere Rapping about life on the street wow. and all of the risk and danger it comes with may have not been the most enjoyable thing for mainstream audiences to hear in an era wow. where most popular rap music was all about partying and having fun. And this was definitely one of the reasons why what seemed like everyone tried so hard to destroy this album from ever gaining popularity, but ultimately, this LP fought through all of the controversy yeah. and backlash to forever cement consciousness as a quintessential part of hip-hop culture. So all in all, when it comes to ain't a lot of y'all, y'all let me know if y'all agree with this list. How y'all feel about this list? Me personally, with my the NWA is probably the most important album on this list. It's talking about it's, it's not only conscious rap, reality rap, but it's talking about stuff that's still going on to today in 2024. A lot of these albums on this list, that shit don't apply to 2024, my nigga. It didn't even apply to 2016. So simple fact that. You got an album like that with these historic, iconic artists and rappers. Phenomenal. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Which is your favorite album on here on this list? My favorite is definitely Straight Outta Compton. Um, y'all let me know which album should be higher, lower, lower. What album should replace some of the albums that's on this list? Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. I'm signing out, y'all. Love.